my friends, and welcome back to All Ages of Geek TV, as you see right now. <laughs> Tears! <laughs> I just got finished watching episode... <laughs> episode... <laughs> episode 4 of My Hero Academia. If you want to see my reaction, be sure to check it out in the link in the description below on the All Ages of Geek Hub website. Ah! I'm in, I'm in tears and I'm like so happy right now because why? Because Deku got into the academy that he dreamt of getting into since he was young. Now think about this. If you ever, okay, if you have a dream, all right, and you work for that dream so hard and you wait for it and you work and work and work and do your hardest to do whatever it takes and even if everybody in your life is doubting you saying that you will never reach those heights he got in and those feelings it wasn't just the feeling of like oh i got in yay it's the feeling that he was doubted his entire life since he was young he doubted and stepped upon since he was young but he got in he got in and proved everybody wrong and that's what i love about this series because it, Deku as the main character kind of shows us, especially people like us who are the misfits and the freaks and the people that say to us that you will never make it amount to anything in life. He gives us these reminders that we will be okay. He gives us these reminders that if you just put hard work into something, you will at least have at least one person, or even if you can't, even if you can't find one person, you'll have yourself to lead you forward and make your dreams come true. And this is, su this is such a powerful series because it does that for us. It gives us these reminders and he got in, oh my God. But okay, to discuss this, what I feel about all of this is how I love the fact that they didn't tell the students, all right? They did not tell the students that there was going to be different parts of the exam. The students just thought common sense wise, okay, we'll follow the exam. Like, um, what's his name? Guy with glasses. I still don't know his name. He literally said like, oh, if I, I would know about that. And he's like, wait, there must have been other factors. In a way, he didn't think like a hero. He thought logically. And just thinking logically and just following the rules and following this and that to see the outcome, it will never get someone 100% somewhere. But Deku, he took it to the next level. He followed the rules, was struggling with that, but he literally followed his instincts. And that is what a true hero does. They follow their instincts. They don't care about, you know, the logical sense. Like, yes, logic's very important, but at the same time, he followed his heart. He followed his instincts, and his instincts said, save her. Save her because she is suffering, because she's in pain. And he sacrificed himself. It wasn't just instincts. He sacrificed himself and his points and everything to make sure she was okay. In the same turn, she did the same thing for him, saying, can you please give him points? But then they said that he was fine. But, oh my God. Yeah. So what in the beginning, in the beginning when you first see him, everybody's like, oh, what is he? Oh, he looks like he's afraid. Oh, this is the kid that was crying. Oh, everyone still doubted him, okay? And he's such a relatable character because even with me, myself, I've been doubted my whole life. I'm still doubted my whole life. People still put me down. People still say you're never going to make your dreams. You're never going to make all ages geek anything. You're never going to make this something. And people still say that. And yes, while it does hurt, you have to have the passion and the fire in your heart to push anything forward forward. So if you have a freaking dream, you make that damn dream come true. You make that dream come true and you say to hell with everybody else. Because just like with Deku, even his students, his classmates, even in a way, it, not his mother, she kind of in a way just gave up on him saying, I'm sorry, instead of encouraging him, instead of pushing him forward, she should have said, it'll happen. Because as long as you push it forward, it'll happen. But she, what, what did she do? She said, I am sorry, which is not what he wanted to hear. So even with his mother, she was not that person to push him forward she was the person to coddle him which is not good so all these people in the beginning they are doubting him they're laughing at him they're mocking him there's a yo deku this deku that oh he's the kid that did this and 
even everyone was just like, oh, what are you going to do? Like, the, even uh, Glasses dude, he was like, saying, oh, what are you going to do? Stop her from doing what she wants. Like, so it's like they think of him wrong. They look at him and they judge him. They stereotypical judge him thinking, oh, he's just the crybaby. Oh, he's just the nobody. Oh, he's just the mystery. And they're going to put him in these stereotypical labels to think that he is just he is just that type of person that um, would make everybody just be like, oh, my God, what's wrong with you, Deku? Oh, like, he is the crybaby. But they didn't expect that. And then they thought he was the he was fooling them. So the point is, is like never judge somebody based on what they look like just because he may look like he's weak and small and everything. It doesn't necessarily mean that he is. So he has a lot in store for us. He has a lot in store to teach us, but also to show us that even if you are considered weak, you could prove people wrong. But that was not even his intention. He didn't care about proving people wrong. He cares more about just getting the job done. And that's what makes him very like a very passionate character because he doesn't care about getting revenge or proving somebody wrong. He just goes with the punches. He goes with the flow with it. And yes, it may hurt him. Yes, he may cry about it. But he goes with the flow of this. So overall, we saw in this sense now, it just inspires us to keep moving forward with our dreams. To say to and like against all odds, even if we are considered that misfit, we can still be considered a hero or we can still be considered somebody strong or go for our dreams because if we have the passion in our hearts, we can make anything possible. So another thing that I liked about this is again with the factors, they thought that it was just logic. They thought everyone, even the, the judges at first were saying like, oh, if you go by brute force and strength and power, which was Kachan, or if you go by speed, which was the glasses character, still gotta learn his name, or anything else, they were determining what what these characters would be placed in. And they also tested them. Now, the good thing and what I liked about that is they test them. They're gonna see which characters and which students break the rules and follow their hearts and follow their instincts or the ones that just follow logic. So I love that. It was like a little hint thing. It was le legit a hint. It was, they didn't give them hints. It was a little secret thing, but it was a hint for us to pay attention to because after a while, Glasses dude, he understood. He was like, wait, there's other factors. And that's when and automatically I'm like, wait a minute. They're not just testing them based on smartness and IQ. They are testing them based on what a hero would do. So that's very powerful because again, in real life, what there's different types of people out there. True heroes, just like true content creators and true like kings and queens and everybody else that are rulers out there. To quote Mufasa, a true king is one who, who gives and doesn't take away. Because there's people out there who just take and take and take for themselves. If we just want to say Twitch thoughts, we could just say Twitch thoughts. If we want to just say e-girls and gamer girls, we could just say that. Those are the types of people who just take and take and take for themselves. And you could just tell based on like how their Instagram accounts are. You can just tell on how, how they just pose and act around themselves. They just take and take and take and act like, oh, this is our community. This is all about us. But no, if you look at their Instagrams, you can just tell that they're just saying, I'm taking this from you. I'm legit. I don't actually care. And they're, they're selling themselves out by saying like, I'm just going to take a, like this types of pictures of myself. And then that's how you could tell they don't really care about their communities. They don't. And that's what we can learn from this is like, there's two types of content creators. And even with guys, I'm not just gonna say it's just the gamer girls. There's some gamer guys out there. I'm not saying gamer guys. I don't even know what they're called. But they're the guys that are so extremely critical over games or critical over anime and just so toxic. And yet they're the people that take and take and take and take away instead of being the content creators who give and give and give away. Because giving, some, giving back to people and impacting people's lives is what makes a content creator a true god dang content creator. That is what a content creator is. And that is so true. Even with Deku himself, is like all those students, what were they doing? They were worried about passing. They were worried about themselves. And if you even notice how they were running around, how they were smashing everything, how they were kind of stealing each of the points from each other, they were attacking all these things, not even thinking about teamwork, not even thinking about caring about other people, and like in that sense of attacking to share the points. Like she did. She literally said, I wanted to share the points with him, which was giving. She literally, in a way, rescued him in that way. She didn't have to do that. She didn't have to. She could have continued to like save her own skin, but she didn't. She saved him. And that's so powerful to note because that's something we could take away. It's like, we, like there's so many people out there, you know, whether content creators or non-content creators or people in real life who just take and take and take and take and want and want and are so greedy. And forget the real reason that anything in life is we should give back. To give back to be heroes of our own sense, to give to others, to forget about ourselves and sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. And that's so great and powerful because Deku, as small and as weak as people think he is, he's not. 
That's courage. That's bravery. And he has that within his heart. He has that so deep within his heart and such a, such a strength that he will carry it out and inspire others. Because they were shocked by him. They were so shocked. But overall, okay, I love the old lady. I love her. I love her design too because she's a healer and she has like a um, little thingy in her hair that looks like it's like a shot or something. It's so cute, her design. I like how she gave him a little kissy too. And she gives out gummy bears. Like, oh, that's such like what a grandmother would do. It's like the grandmothers who have like a little purse and they always keep candy in their purse to give it to people to make them feel better. That's such a grandmother. And I love her. And she gave him a little kissy. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But I'm just, I'm curious to see how Kachan is gonna react to this, to see how Deku got all these points. He, in a way, he outranked everybody if we're gonna talk about it. Cause like they can actually think about who's gonna be brute force Force, who's going to be the people on the lines and the, uh, and the forces, who's going to be defense. Like, that's why I'm thinking, thinking they did this is because they want to see who's going to relate to this or amount to that and who's going to be defenses, who's going to be offenses, who's going to be, um, like, on the front lines, who's going to be in the back. And then with Deku, who's going to be the person that will willingly sacrifice himself for the greater good of somebody else. So this was overall so powerful and you could take away so much from this. And how All Might is in a sense being his mentor, being there for him, taking him under his wing. That is so beautiful. That's beautiful because there's a lot of people out there, you know, and you know, All Might went through training. I don't know much about his training. I'm excited to learn about his backstory, but he is that character that he didn't have to take him under his wing. He didn't have to take Deku under his wing, but he did, but he did. And in a way, that kind of inspires me and everybody, and should inspire everybody else, where if you have people who are struggling out there or just starting out, like with me, with if there's new content creators and I like their work, I'm always saying, hey, I would love to know more about your work. And it's like, you wanna give back. Don't always just think about yourself, you know? Never just think about yourself. Because there's so many people who do that. And the world is so greedy. And the world just cares about itself. And once you start thinking about others, you, you realize that, it's much more powerful. Your life feels more complete. And you, yes, you may struggle yourself, just like Deku. I mean, I still struggle. I still go through a lot of struggles and that's normal because I'm human. And the thing is with Deku too, is he may go through struggles, but the real thing is, is who makes the true hero? The people who just want to get the points and be strength and have strength and just, and just win, win, win all the time? Or the people who actually stand by and attack and, and charge forward sometimes in order to sacrifice themselves for the greater good and what they truly believe in. Because if you notice, do you realize how when he was attacking and he was like looking around and he wanted to find these, these like uh, the machines to take them down, he was nervous. He was out of his wits. He didn't know what to do. He was panicking. But when he saw her down on the ground suffering, what did he do? Well, everybody else was running away. Who ran forward? The weakling that they consider him. The defenseless one. He ran forward. And he left a mark on everybody because he gave them that reminder. Because it doesn't, what truly makes a hero is the person who is willing to put himself last. The person who is willing to lift other people up and possibly even sacrifice himself for the greater good. And that is Deku. That is Deku in the flesh. And I am so happy that I am watching the series and experiencing it with you guys because it teaches us so much and I am able to talk about this with you guys. I am able to express myself about not even just the series, but life lessons in itself as well. So I wanna know, what did you guys think of My Hero Academia, episode number four from season one? I would love to know your thoughts and your theories and your opinions and what you overall think about this series as a whole. Because it is a wonderful series and it's something that we can all take away from. And I wanna know, what do you take away from it? What are the lessons that you have learned from this series? And what, and what episodes are you excited for me to see next? because that is something that I'm really looking forward to for what episodes I'm, I'm going to be pumped up for. You guys said this one is going to make me scream. Look what it just did on the reaction. So again, if you want to check out the reaction, be sure to visit the All Ages of Geek Hub at allagesofgeek.com and you will be able to watch our reaction there on the All Ages of Geek Hub. Our official website will be launching in 2020 and 2021, so stay tuned for that as well. There's going to be a lot of fun going on for you guys so we can unite the geeks of all ages. Yes, hallelujah, my friends. You keep the faith you keep on going for your dreams and you keep being awesome. But anyway, my friends, you stay weird, you stay wonderful, and again, you stay awesome, my friends. And until the next video, you embrace your inner fangirl, and you're in a fanboy, and you're in a fan otaku, 
every single day. Bye guys.